Wednesday, August the 5th. Now, we looked at verse 3 of Ephesians, which said this. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms, because we are united with Christ. Then we looked at verse 4. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. Today, we're going to put those two verses together as I read this anonymous post called, You Say, God Says. You say, I can't figure it out. God says, I will direct your steps. Proverbs 3. You say, I'm too tired. God says, I will give you rest. Matthew 11. You say, it's impossible. God says, all things are possible. Luke 18. You say, Nobody loves me. God says, I love you. John 3. You say, I can't forgive myself. God says, I forgive you. Romans 8. 1. You say, it's not worth it. God says, it will be worth it. Romans 8. 28. You say, I'm not smart enough. God says, I will give you wisdom. 1 Corinthians 1. You say, I'm not able. God says, I am able. 2 Corinthians 9, 8. You say, I can't go on. God says, my grace is sufficient. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. You say, I can't do it. God says, you can do all things. Philippians 4, 13. You say, I can't manage. God says, I will supply all your needs. Philippians 4, 19. You say, I'm afraid. God says, I have not given you fear. 2 Timothy 1. Or perfect love drives out fear. 1 John 4. You say, I feel all alone. God says, I will never leave you. Hebrews 13, 5. So you see, in him, as we put those two verses together, we understand that the reason he gives us every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms is so that none of our faults means we can't overcome with God in us, beside us, around us. So, tell me, what is it that you are unable to achieve today? What is it that you feel is going to beat you today? That with him and in him, you can overcome. Go to God's word. There'll be something just for you to get you through this day. See you tomorrow. Bye.